Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days. It's me, JD Sensei. Not sure why I'm having trouble getting up there, but I was. Okay, let's uh might as well go see if we can get that. There we go. Uh of course my body is a little messed up because uh I broke my leg. Because of course I did. I'm good at like that. Did I keep anything I can turn into a splint? Not at all. I'm not the brightest. Okay, actually, let me drop off some of this random crap in here. Just carry it around, you know, for safekeeping. This is good, though. I'm getting some resources. All right. I'm going to ride out to, oh, to the drop chest, which is relatively close. I also need to stop and loot if I see anything that might have cloth in it. For whatever reason, I brought no food, no water, no nothing. I just decided to come on over here like an idiot. I'm not near that cave, right? I know there's a cave. I know I don't want to deal with it. You don't need to do that kind of damage to uh, Actually, why do I have this on? Uh, here, take that. I like wasting them. You're wasting them, Bo. I got I got stuff coming out my butt, so I don't care. I have plenty. Where did that land? Oh, it's not very far at all. Thank you. For once, an airdrop didn't uh, land in Timbuktu. Usually they do. Usually they're dicks. Drop it in the middle of no man's land. Uh, sniper rifle receiver. I got it. Um, don't really need that. Throw that out. Hey, see? My bed kit's worked out, and I'll keep that for sale. All right, I'm going to run back because I should have brought food and water with me. I should have. I should have, could have, would have, didn't. And I, I overheated because I wasn't paying attention, so I should probably go take care of that. Just check these. Anybody got any clothing? Uh, thinking I'd find a rag or something I can use in here. Some medicine. Don't take those, by the way, unless you're hurting. I mean, I figured I'd hit these up since I'm here. All right, I should stop dicking around. I, I got plenty of stuff in my base. I figured there was a group right here. Maybe there's some loot cloth scraps around. Maybe there wasn't, but maybe there would be. I mean, I live right over the mountain, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just a weird, uh, weird biome, though. Uh, not even biome, but weird, just a weird map. A lot of elevation. So the original idea was to go all the way to bedrock, but that's going to be... That's a lot of blocks down. I don't think I need to go that low, but... It, since it's going to be a while just to get down to where I am, to, to where I get the solid stone, you guys can tell me uh, how low they'll spawn in. Because I know they won't spawn at bedrock. Uh, but you guys can give me an idea if they'll uh, spawn any lower than what I just said, you know. Like, if, if can I be up at plus 64 and they'll still spawn in if I'm standing down there, or will I... Have to keep running up and down. Yeah. Oh, what did I leave on the floor? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, 3,000 gas cans. I forgot about that. All right. Uh, concrete can stay. Is there anything? I should have taken this concrete. Well, let me drop off the garbage. You know, I think about it. Uh, crap, that needs to go out. This needs to go out. Rocket launcher schematic needs to go out. I'll take this stuff back when I go to my OG base. This oil shale, for whatever reason, I got some. Needs to go in here with this. You can have the three pieces of lead and medical. You can take everything else. I do have a splint in here, so let me go ahead and use that. There we go. Put these extras in here, this in here. Do I need to drop off? And these. I should keep those with me, but I'm stupid, so I won't. I left all my wood behind. That was weird. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Don't care. 
and you can hold on to the random random sand I picked up. All right, and where did I leave? Con oh, forget where I, what I left behind. What did I leave by? Wait. I'm having an aneurysm. I just forgot what I was doing. Okay, there's plenty of gas cans in there. I just threw them in there. I gotta remember what's there. And that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I knew what was where. Did I leave anything in this junk drawer? Uh, yeah, I brought this stuff over and I should have put it where it needs to go. Hold on. Cycle this crap out. And take this stupid wood with me. What the hell's the matter with me? Okay. Let's go ahead and drop that off. Just so I don't have to remember to do it tonight. You're fine. Uh, do I want to leave anything else behind? Oh, the clay. Clay goes over here and smelting. How are you doing? Yeah, why don't you take some of this clay? Why don't you take all that clay? I'll get more. And was there anything else? Okay, so I just needed food, water, and then I'm out of here. Um, it's just a pit stop. Uh, I might as well use some of my scavenged food. I don't care about hydration too much. Because I have plenty of water. I love how water just gives you so much more than food. Most of the food number values are like really low, but the food is really high. Uh, it, I'm sorry, the op opposite. Like you'll get like 10%, 15%, maybe 20%, but a single jar of water is 30%. It's like, what? You think this is re, re, respawned? You think this is respawned? You think it's free spot? I don't know. It might be. It has been. Hey, so I can keep a couple of medicines with me in case I do something stupid again. Like fall. I don't get at that. Anyways. Back to work, baby. Day 119 is the next horde. Uh, which means we just have to do repair work on the other base. They only hit like two or three landmines too, so they just didn't come from a direction that was predicated on hitting the landmines, so eh, whatever. They spawn where they want to spawn. That's just a fun chord base though to beat people to death in. You know, get the shoddy out and do some shoddy magic over there. Other than that, I, it's sad, too, because I get bored of a base after, like, one or two tries. I suppose that's good, though, because I'm always creating. And I always get these stupid ideas that take millions of episodes to do. And because I got to do it, you got to watch it. <laughs> you don't have to, but you can skip ahead if you want to. That's why I put them in playlists and I try to make a semi-descriptive title for it so you know what you're getting into for the most part. For the most part. This is a nice place, though. Um, I mean, not as close to Bedrock as I wanted it to be and just figuring out the dynamics, it, it would be too uh, too high up. I think, to, uh, let me get in here. Is there anything I wanted to bring? Yeah, for later. All right, let's continue our quest downward. For now, let's uh, scoop this crap out of here. Okay, let's get this going. Gotta be careful near the walls, that's all, you know? See, if you're not careful near the walls, that's when bad things happen. Stuff collapses. We don't want to deal with stuff collapsing. I really don't want to deal with that. It's too expensive to deal with that. Uh, 
and we'll just clean up right here. Just clean it up a little bit. Just enough so I can find a spot. Stop point right there. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. And then we want to... What the hell is that? Uh, rabbit! Hey, what are you doing in my hole? I'm just saying, what are you doing in my hole, buddy? Excuse me while I go drop this off. Uh, I mean, if you want to put a freaking thing right there, I'll take it. Okay, then we go up here and drop this off. So I'm not about to carry meat on me. I'd prefer not to anyways. All right. Okay, let's uh, clear out work over here. Ah, of course I need gas. Randomly pick that up, just so I don't go crazy, fall off. Don't worry, we'll do another section in a bit. But the main idea here is just to get the wall in. Okay. Hey, hey, get out of here. Uh, almost looks good. All right. Now we can just haul it out the rest with the shovel. So we're not making a mistake. Uh, Got to do this like this, a little bit at a time. Just to keep it honest. Pretty sure I can go underneath this and not have to worry about it falling on my head, but I suppose it's good to try now instead of worrying about it uh, later. This is good too, it gets me uh, stuff I want, like clay. Okay, so I definitely want to do that. Nope, see, this is what I mean. Come here. Get rid of all this crap. Right there? Okay. There we go. And then we can just put these in. Gotta go a little bit at a time just so I don't cause an issue. So wait, does this mean this is clay all the way down? Because if it does, I'm going to have a lot of clay. That's interesting in and of itself. I'm going to have to make a few more forges too, I think, at the work base, just to make more concrete. I would assume. But I wanted to get this started around. We'll get one half done to do the other half, you know. And then I'll have an idea of resources I need and stuff like that. And again, I wanted a really big project to take a while, you know, instead of just the little ones I've been doing. You know, something that won't be ready for a few weeks. And I have multiple horde bases I can play with, so. To me, that sounds like fun. I love how developed this map has gotten for me from where it started. But I am trying to think of other things for you guys. Uh, depending on, 
you know, when the release date is for the new, new one. If it goes very, very long and I run out of ideas for this, I can always, because there is some things I want to do in NAV. I had a few ideas for that. Just because a uh, random gen tends to put the, uh, put the buildings far apart. And now I know in NAV, you can, uh, there's buildings very close together. And I had a few, a few ideas for stuff I could do there. Uh, okay, so this needs to get out of here. Yep. Uh, that's about where I stopped. Okay. Alright, let's get the, this crap out of here. Alright, easier to see if I'm doing like this. If I sneak in here, it's easier to see where I need to stop. Relatively speaking. All right, I think that's good. Then we can go another two, two or three layers down and keep it going. So the main idea is just to make a big asshole and then have a nice tower in the middle and then have some uh, places to fight from and to let the landmines do the work. So this is gonna be one big ass minefield way down, so it's going to be dropping and blowing themselves up, and then I'll finish them off with shotguns or whatever. Something like that. That's the relative idea. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get down about two. Or three. Three's fine, too. Excuse you. Get out of the way. Two or three. Two or three is fine. Get this done, baby. Corners are always a bit. I know I missed something back here. That out of there. I don't care if you fall. The same. Once that done, and that'll give me a way to get in and out too. That'll definitely give me a way to get in and out of here. And I can work on the other side with impunity. You have to be careful over here because I, I know I cleared out some stuff while I was trying to get myself out of that hole. As you can see. Yeah, see, I, little went, I went a little far over here. All right, give me a second. Itchy nose. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I had an itchy nose. Okay. I'm a little underground here by accident.
Get out of here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Thank you. I'm close to my the edge. Pretty damn close. I don't care. Right, I need to wind up a bit better. Would you stop? Go away. We it's like a carnival ride. I know I'm sitting on something. Ah. This is almost broken. That's why it's taking so long. All right, time to fix it. That's why I brought over 60 repair kits. All right. I will say, like I said, I get a lot of resources from this. So kind of pays for itself. It takes time to make them. Ooh. That's a bit of a drop. Alright. A little clean up here. For the most part, they try and keep it too high. All right. Upgrade these. Oof, oof. There we go. And I'm not worried about the concrete again. Uh, the only part that takes a while to do on concrete is to make the uh, concrete mix itself. That's fine being right there. I don't really care about it. All the rest of this out. Okay, that's perfect. Never let it be said I didn't go correctly. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I'm sure it was intelligent. I'm freaking wrong too. And don't you worry about you. Uh, I might have to pick you up if I accidentally tap you with the auger. Which totally might happen. Okay, let's get a starter in here. Wait a minute. Okay, you won't fit in here, so bop that out of there. Okay, but now I should be able to squeeze in here and do this. Made a pinor. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. That looks okay. Corner done. Right here. Okay. Ah, going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Chill out. Okay, where do I want you to go? Not too far back. See, that's why I keep making boo-boos. That's why I try to make it... Make a little bit more sense. There we go. And you're fine if I accidentally build down a little bit. Eventually, we'll get to the point where we're working with rock, which will facilitate not making too many mistakes. Sand, though, is going to make a lot of mistakes just because you barely have to tap it and it falls apart. 
So this is going to get me, I'm at, I brought over a thousand frames and I'm a little more than a quarter away through my frames from what I've built so far. Which is fine. They were brought here to be used. Uh, what am I on on concrete? Still doing okay on concrete. Not great, but not bad. I'll make plenty tonight, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah, this is going to take a great many days to build. <laughs> Especially with how deep I made it. That's why I was like, maybe I should stop at regular stone <laughs> and just build on top of it instead of uh, try and do it all the way to bedrock. Because the worst thing to me that could happen is the zombies just decide they do not want to spawn. And I got to spend the horde night running up and down the damn ladder to respawn them. That would be the worst thing for me. Okay, could you uh, go where I can tell you? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I just really don't want to have to spend a horde night running up and down, up and down, up and down, because I made it so deep that the zombies won't spawn it. I know they won't. Uh, I know they can't even detect you at a certain depth. Because in, in my first base, the one we started off in an episode ago, the mine I made is so far down on the bedrock. It's so deep on Horde Night, they don't detect me. And I know on Horde Night, you're supposed to be detected no matter where you are. But I'm so far away, they can't detect me. And I mean, it's useful because if I don't want to deal with a Horde Night for whatever reason, I can just do that. Okay, we got another. Not bad. So right now it's, what, six deep? So yeah, 40 deep is going to be pretty freaking high. Where, uh, where are we at right now? All right, so this has got to go roughly 60 more blocks down. So this is going to be, how many blocks can they detect you? So I need to be able to detect me. So somebody give me an estimate of how many blocks they deep they can detect you at. And then we'll go from there. All right, let's go down a little bit more. Next level. Okay, three it is, I guess. Or two, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you collapse, so that's the thing. A little bit. I don't care a little bit if you collapse. If I mess up the spot. I do kind of care about the spot with the clay in it, but other than that, I don't really care. That's what I was afraid of hitting. I didn't want to hit that by accident. Am I two down or yeah, I'm two. This is over near the hole, so I don't want to go too close. We already know I'm great at falling off cliffs. Get out of here. Shoot! Stay away from that. Yeah, I think 60 down is quite a bit, but hey, what do I know? Come on, get out of the hole. Shoot, shoot.
Oh, go away. Thank you. Thank God I brought over all this gas, huh? That if I want to. Oh, I'm over near the edge. Go to town, go to town. Okay, stop. Crap. there, but uh, we'll live with it. Not super important. Alright. What we need to do, clean this up. and get this part out. No little boo-boo I made, but whatever. That up a little bit. Just a bit, just a bit. Just a tad. Actually, under here? No, not really. Oh, now. Good enough. I think that'll work, uh, sort of. Oh, I, I guess that floating one doesn't really matter. But I do need to get rid of this. Damn, I burned the gas, I tell you. Excuse you, aim where I tell you. Ah, this is going to be a big ass base, I'm just saying. I'm coming up on the hole too. Might as well get this wall in before I forget about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to tell me how deep you think it should be, but I don't think bedrock's going to work. I think bedrock will be so far down, nothing will spawn. Good news is you got plenty of time. You do have plenty of time to let me know. Because after this, I don't think I'm going to record again till Friday. So you guys should have plenty of time to give me your opiniones on what you think how deep you think the base should be. That's going to be quite deep, I think. I wonder if I'm going to run out of concrete anytime soon. Probably. I 
I would assume I am. Eventually. I knew I forgot one. No, did I forgot one. Also want to light this up somehow, but I'm thinking just throw torches up. But that does make a block that they're going to fall on. Which is annoying. So, I haven't really thought about the lighting aspect of this yet. Haven't really thought about it. Like, how are you going to light it? I'm not really sure, actually. Not 100% on that. I mean, I can always use my mining helmet and say, screw the lighting, but... Uh, Again, I just don't know how deep I should make this. Originally, like I said, plan was to go to bedrock, but again, that might be too deep. You can make a joke about that too, me saying too deep a lot. <laughs> no. But, it is true. Got to feather that trigger, you know what I'm saying? Got to feather it. All right. Just kind of wanted to get as much of this done as possible. It is going to start getting late here in a bit. Roughly speaking. Okay. Mind if I make a little hollow area behind it, but prefer not to, too much. Excuse you? Thank you. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a beast. I'm going to go straight beast mode on this one. Uh, again, though, you guys can comment and let me know how deep this should actually be while working to, you know, do it work the way I wanted to with them spawning up top and falling in and then hitting my fun little surprise for them. And again, I won't record again until probably Friday, so you'll have time to comment on my various ideas before that because I think this one would actually be going up Friday, so if I record it, it'd be Friday night. Roughly. I think so. He's probably use up my concrete. I would assume. I only brought over about 5K, right? 4 or 5K is enough to upgrade around 500 frames. Ten per frame. Yep. Okay. Uh, might as well just put up the rest. And then we'll start heading on out of here. Okay. And then get out the auger to do this part. Hey, get that little stick out of there. I almost hit my own concrete there, too. I could see it. It was wanting to happen.
clear it up a little bit and put out the other frames. I suppose I'll see how effective this is if they decide to spawn a horde or something on me and I'm working down here and they all start dropping. I suppose that'll give me a quick heads up of how much damage it does. That's a deep asshole. Anyways. And it's broke again. Of course it is. Of course it's broke. Thank you, sir. Love it when you break for me. There we go. Okay, anyways. Let's get these bad boys up. So we don't have to worry about them later. Excuse you, get out of here. Yeah, my other one was only about, what, 20 high? Would you mind going where I tell you to, please? I think it was only 20 or maybe 25 deep. This one's going to be way more than that. Uh, but again, once I got to regular stone, I'm like, man, that's like that's like 64 down, so it might be overkill. I could be wrong. But it might be overkill. Okay, so... Uh, wow. Okay. Doesn't look like much when you're doing it, and then you stop and look, and you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so we just nerd pull up, and we'll tear the nerd pull down when we need to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if I go all the way down, it's going to be deep. <laughs> And they're going to fall down, they're going to hit landmines. But again, I need uh, somebody to give me a rough idea of how far a zombie can fall. I know they take damage, I think, after the sixth block, but is there a terminal uh, height for them? Use, like, the weakest zombie, like a um, uh, spider zombie, and take a guess from there. That's what I would do. I'd, I'd ask you to just tell me what you think a spider zombie, or, you know, the weakest one, maybe a uh, putrid girl, which I think they call Arlene these days. Uh, what would be the drop distance to pretty much kill her? Or, if not kill her, like, severely damage her. So I'm thinking we don't have to go crazy. Crazy low, but I'd like to go... I'd. Say, I mean, I'd like to get it off sand, but, you know, plus, um, if, like, 60 is too low for them to spawn, it might be better to make it a little bit taller. But I at least want to go 30 blocks. Yeah, at least 30, because I shut up with the overheating. My God. All right? We're going to cure that problem right the hell now. Look. Look where I'm going, okay, game? Look where I'm going. Sure enough, that temperature started dropping immediately. Look at that. It's 98. You can track how fast it's going down. No zombies killed in two days. Go figure. Uh, in two episodes. Go figure. But I've only already got like 4K under my belt, so... <laughs> I am carrying food with me, so that's a, that's a problem. All right, I like keeping all my gas barrels that I got, because that keeps me on the up and up. 
How am I doing? Do I need to take anything else out of the mini bike while I'm thinking about it? I don't not at the moment. Not really. Ah, but I got plenty of sand. Holy crap. I won't have to worry about that for a while, huh? Stone's okay, but not great. Okay, let's uh seal that up. All right. If you guys want to be problem children, you can be problem children. There you go. Go ahead and be problem children all you want. Let me drop off the sand first. Okay. Drop off. Turn these on. Yeah, see, I'm not worried about iron anytime soon. Or anything else for that matter. And let's cap you off at whatever max is. 6,000. That sounds good. Okay, and let's go ahead and make sure you guys are capped off. Well, um, take half of that. You're never going to burn through all that. Okay, and make that. And let's get half of you. Oh, wait, I did the wrong one. I meant this one. Okay, you take half of that, and you take half of this. And you turn yourself on. And go ahead and max that out for me. And go ahead and max that out for me. All right. Now I'm not thinking about it. I should have taken sand with me. And let's do it to it. All right. Give me 1,900. And I'm doing pretty good here. So let's combine these two. All right. I need to go drop off the meat because that's just making me stink. Go drop off the meat, please. I guess we can do that. There we go. Just keep it nice and neat. I'll drop off the little bit of medical I picked up in the medical drawer. Here. Thank you, sir. Take these pills. Okay. Stone-wise is always going to be a little behind everything else, at least until we get down to the stone. Also, why was I still carrying this crap? go where it needs to go, which is in explosives. Also, explosives-wise, I should take this. Wow, I'm out of ammo? Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at the recipes here. Tin can, landmine. What else did I need with that? Oh, gunpowder, duct tape, and so I need duct tape. Let me grab some duct tape. Why do I only have five? Did I put that somewhere else or did I take it to another base? I guess it doesn't matter. I have some more over here, I think. Yes, sir, Rebob. 83. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Was there anything else I needed? Yeah, okay. Head and max that out for me. 33 it is. Okay, I'm going to make the landmines I'll eventually need. How are we doing over here? Oh, there's plenty. Okay. There is plenty. I'll put the tape back now, though, when I think about it. Okay. And I should drop off the stupid thingy. All right. And do I want 500 more frames from you? I probably should. Take, take care of it now. Leave our frames. Give me uh, 500 again. 500. It cost me 2,500. Let me give it something to do tonight. And you guys are making your clay, uh, your stuff. So the only thing that's really going to limit me, concrete-wise, is how much of that I can make. So it might be in my best interest to think about building another forge at some point. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure if you comment to let me know about that stuff. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll catch you all in the next vid. Bye now.